Right, welcome ladies and gents. Uh, this is The Exorcist Believer. Now, the trailer's been released. I can't do a reaction to it. This is not a live reaction where I'm going to watch the trailer and talk to you about it. Because I can't. Because this is a Universal film. Uh, and for those that aren't aware, Universal does huge copyright claims. Uh, and they'll even do retroactive copyright claims. They don't care that they're abusing the system, even though it falls under transformative, etc. It j there's just, there's no point. Okay, M massive YouTubers, way bigger than me, I'm small fry, way bigger than me, have had to deal with Universal, and they've not won. So I don't do any reactions to Universal stuff anymore, but I do want to talk about it. I do want to talk about it, uh, and I did talk about it last night on my podcast, The Hcast, which you can actually find the second channel, which is the podcast channel, linked down below in the description box. If you want to head on over there and hit subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, we cover loads and loads and loads of stuff on that uh, on that you know that stream that live show that I run. Um, but I thought I'd do a video just for you guys to be to be perfectly honest because I've had some time to sort of I don't know dwell on it. I watched the trailer live on uh, you know on the show. Obviously muted. You could just see me grimacing here and there. Obviously I didn't like it. Right? You read from the title. You can tell from my tone of voice. I didn't like it. Um, and that's namely. Because of David Gordon Green. I just... I think he's awful. I think he's absolutely atrocious when it comes to these horror films. Now, the the issue with David Gordon Green is... Is it might not be him. It might actually just be Universal. Because you've got to remember... David Gordon Green was attached to the Halloween films. And they absolutely unequivocally have their fans. Right? Those new movies have their fans. I get that. But I just thought they were absolutely atrocious. Evil dies tonight. Blah, blah. It's just awful. Honestly, just awful. Um, and it may be because it's Universal's influence, but it may be David Gordon Green. We don't know. And perhaps we will never know. But he is the thing which gets me deeply, deeply dismayed. Um, so, obviously, we've got uh, Ellen Ber Burstein uh, coming into the into the fray. Um, mm, shouldn't really dug her up. I mean, let her, let her chill out. She's basically taking the... This is basically a remake. And this is what they always do. Which is very, very frustrating. Um, and essentially, they, they've dug her up and she plays the exorcist role. That's what she is. And the, it, David Gordon Green even says this here. Her character ended up becoming fascinated by exorcism and studying the rites and rituals of possession throughout culture. She's become a bit of an expert, not an exorcist herself, but renowned for the books that she's written. I mean, she's she's literally becoming an exorcist in this film. From the trailer, anyway. That's what she looks like she's doing. Um, and th so this is called Believer. And then the next one... This was originally conceived as a trilogy, by the way. It looks like they're just doing two films now. The second one's called uh, Deceiver. But goodness me, we'll just pause this here. Let's... Um, Let's have a look at this, because how this is shot, right, just as an FYI, it, it, even just in terms of how it's shot, it looks like it's a sitcom. It's like 60 frames a second, it's very crisp, clear, very high clarity lenses. Nothing about this looks massively unique. You know, this especially. This could be a scene out of anything that you get on cable TV. And that's not what I expect from a movie. I expect these to be bokered out good um you know frame just uh, awful awful now the situation is, is that these two girls have sort of buggered off into the, the the forest and they disappear for three days and then they come back and they got cuts all over them and oh they're going a bit weird and obviously one's a believer and one's a deceiver or i don't know some shit like that who cares um but the vfx man it just looks so cheap. I mean, this scene alone. So, it's a bit of a slap in the face when you when you look at this, right? So, um, Ellen Burstein's character, is, you know, Chris McNeil, is back. But her character became fascinated by exorcism and studying the rites and rituals of possession throughout the culture. She became an expert, not an exorcist herself, but renowned. And she... she, she there's a line in this trailer where she's like, we've got to use them all from, from different cultures across the world. No, you don't. You only needed Catholicism in the first one, right? <laughs> you, you yourself needed Catholicism. Why do you now need 
all you know cultures across the world why all religions and cultures and even when they frame it here in obviously a church you know a catholic church and they're framing this it's like oh the, the body and the blood the body and the blood i mean this god this stuff is awful it's just a bit of a slap in the face to the original whilst trying to leech off of its success and like i said none of this looks good like, I, what is this VFX that they've got going on? A mother's explanation. And this is, uh, you know, burst things. Here she is. Oh, she's going to come through now. Oh, it's Chris McNeil, Ellen Burstein. Oh, there she is. She's going to be the exorcist. Oh, yeah. And I, there's one line of dialogue I liked in this. Oh, we've met before. That's it. That's the only line of dialogue I liked. And this is the thing, right? They are, she is, this this possessed little girl. They say about uh, needing all cultures and religions and stuff. It's still dealing with the Holy Bible. The girl herself is still eating the Holy Bible. And by the way, I'm not religious. Like, I don't care about religion absolutely, utterly, remotely, one iota. But this seems like a weird virtue signal. We need all religions to help. Why do you? You didn't the, you didn't the first time. Like, what is this? And like I said, they, these VFX are fucking just... They are atrocious. Uh, absolutely atrocious. Look at this. This looks like something out of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Look at this poo. Honestly, it looks like something out of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Look at this garbage. Oh my god. And then they do all the flashing, black and white, flashy cutscenes. Oh my god. So like I'm not massively excited about this. This is my review discussion, I guess. Whatever you want to call it, I don't really care. I can't do an actual reaction to this because of Universal. Universal, you suck dong, alright? You suck dong. You abuse the copyright system. So you know, I, I don't think this looks good. Um if you do, I'd love to hear why. Maybe you'll convince me. I'm open to being convinced. So let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.